scrapbooking goes back in my family for four generations now, maybe five. I actually even have a love letter that my great-grandfather wrote my great-grandmother in 1896, which is funny because he actually wrote in the letter because he was writing her all lovey-dovey stuff. He goes, please do not show this letter to anyone. And now five generations, we've all scrapbooked it. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But it goes yeah, all the way back. I mean, I can remember, I can remember as a young girl um, looking at the scrapbooks with my mother and she was very smart in the way that, you know, she used all the family albums. I remember when my great-grandmother passed away, it was the first time that I had ever really learned about death or, you know, it was the first time that I had ever experienced it. And she, when I started crying because I realized that I was never going to see her again and I loved Mimi. And my mom pulled out the scrapbooks and she said, you know, look at all these great memories you have with Mimi and you'll always have those memories even though Mimi is gone and you're not going to be able to see Mimi anymore you will never lose those memories that you have of her. So she actually used the family albums to teach me of what death was, but in a beautiful way. And ironically, after my mom passed away, who I was so extremely close to, um, my dad, knowing that I had this love of albums like she did, gave me all of her 50-something scrapbooks. And I went through all those, you know, I started looking and she had scrapbooked everything that I had no idea that she had kept all these things that I had done as a child and all these poems that I'd write and all my papers and even as an adult you know when you understand you know what's going on even as an adult the fact that she had put all those things in there again reinforced exactly what I'm talking about and the fact that I was like wow I was really loved as a child look at all these things my mom was proud of that I did look at all these things that made her feel good or look at all these things that she did she really loved me you know it was all these things just looking at it even as an adult that I saw all these things and I was able to also in the same way that she had done with Mimi you know look at all the memories that I had with her and in some way it made me you know cope with the passing of my mom because I was able to be grateful for all the time that I had with her because I was able to see all of these pictures and also it's the only way that Ashby is going to know Grandma Betty is all of these photo albums and we've been doing that because kids you know one of their favorite things in the world is to look at a storybook and if you've got pictures in there especially if some of them are of them then they're really interested and so Ashby and I have been going through the scrapbooks and she now will point to a picture and go there's Grandma Betty so that's a blessing in itself.